Hello everyone, so my name is Pratyaksh Rastogi and thank you so much for watching my video today. Okay, so I am a biology faculty at Alteremi NEET and I teach both that is zoology and botany. So guys, I am making this video, you can call it a motivational video because I have been getting you know queries from many students and uh, they have the same question to ask me like sir, you know, uh, some you know like majority of the students uh, what I'm talking about is like those students you know have taken a drop and after taking a drop those students are planning you know those students have some feel that they will not be able to crack the NEET exam even this year right so they ask me the question sir what do we do we are getting so demotivated we are not on track with the studies and we already have dropped one year or two years before and now uh, there is a lot of family pressure on us so what should we do right so this is the main question so guys just you know in order to clear those questions out in order to give you my best opinion my best advice what i have for you all so let's begin with that so i have named this uh, video for you which is, is it is not the end right so i think my name signifies it all first of all my you know <clears throat> yes you have to agree with me that it's not the end it means that you have to try and try unless you do, you do not get your goal right so because see if we talk about the advanced papers like je or you know aims or you can say neat you know so it is not like that you have to see that i have dropped the, uh, you know one year or two year but what your main focus should be about your goal if once you can imagine in yourself that once you will be clearing the mbbs once you'll get admission into a government medical college it will be a proud moment of you irrespective of your age what you are right for example you are 23 you are 22 you are 21 and you are you got an admission into mbbs college so yes after five years you are sure that you are going to be a doctor right so you should think that way so that's why i would call this video as it's not the end because you know never the time is ending for you first of all guys you have to stay positive okay just like this if you will stay positive then yes it will create a good impact on yourself if you will stay positive then yes you will have some feel that you'll be able to crack the neat exam you know and see please do not get these kind of thoughts that i have dropped three years and i've dropped four years and still i'm not able to get a good seat into a government medical college that's totally fine but you have to stay positive if you will stay positive it means that you will get that uh, positive energy you will get that positive environment to study more to uh, you know to put the hard work more to put the smart work more and then yes for sure you'll be able to crack your exam okay second thing guys you have to prove to yourself and your parents please do not think about what your peers are doing what your relatives are uh, saying about you what your friends have uh, you know are opinionating about you only and only you have to prove to yourself just make a promise to yourself that yes for example i am pratyaksh i will promise myself that pratyaksh you have to clear this neat exam this year anyhow you have to make timetable you have to make strict uh, study hours you have to go through all all the slavers you have to be very strict with your studies whatever but you have to uh, you know ba basically maintain that you have to respect that okay so I am what whatever I am doing, I am doing it for myself as well as for my family. I am not doing it for uh, my friends, for my peers, you know, because those kind of sources, they actually, you know, can create a lot of pressure on you, a lot of demotivating energies, uh, you know, for you. So please stay away from that and only and only make up your mind that whatever you are doing, you are doing it for your own self, okay? Next, what we have is, MEVS is not the only course, so guys, many majority of the students i have seen that you know they they think that if i'm not able to get a seat in a mbbs college my life will end i cannot do anything else so please don't do that in medical in paramedical we have lot of other courses we have ayurveda we have homeopathy we have veterinary we have physiotherapy we have occupational therapy we have nursing you know so why only mbbs right i agree that it's a you know uh, basically it's a dream for majority of the students to become a doctor but you are still able to help the patients being the other paramedical or medical professional you are still having that dr as a prefix uh, before your name right 
so why you have to be so much demotivated why you have to be so much eager to get an mbbs seat anyhow yes you should but when it comes uh, you know when it comes that uh, you know you are getting demotivated because of that just because you are not able to get the admission in mbbs i would suggest you please think about the other med medical and paramedical courses you have if you really want to be into medical profession if you really want to help the patient if you really want to earn some good handsome salary if you also want to uh, you know basically have a doctor as a prefix right so i would highly recommend you not to think about only and only for mbbs but to have a wider mindset then please cover your weak areas especially when i'm i'm talking about drop droppers so guys uh, you would have realized when you gave the exam in the first go you have you would have realized that which topics or which subject or which areas you actually lagged in so that you were not able to crack the exam so especially i talk about physics you know because physics uh, majority of the students have a weaker uh, you know weaker hold of the physics so please improve your physics and chemistry and especially biology because biology holds your 360 marks 50% of your total marks right so please cover those areas for example uh, you, if you are not if you are not uh, you know for example i i say modern physics if you are not very uh, good in modern physics if you are not able to solve the numericals then please invest more of your time into that right that will actually help you to speed up to cover up that lag part right to so do that now see now i do have a motivational uh, message for you that once you will do these kind of things once once you will be applying these things once you will stay positive once you will only think about yourself once you will make a strict time table for you once you will dedicate your time to your studies once you will promise yourself that yes you will be able to do that do that once you will have a proper and clear mindset of what you have to do in future then yes guys this hard work is actually going to give you a huge success in your future you are actually going to be an mbbs doctor you are actually going to be a medical professional in your life okay so please guys i hope that you will follow all these points because i really want that every one of you would become a successful professional one day okay so guys this was all the tips and tricks what i wanted to give you all and one important thing which i would like to tell nothing is impossible okay so just keep that in your mind it is not about how you just say it it's also about how you get in your mind nothing is impossible okay anything which can be very difficult but that difficulty can also not lead to the impossibility of doing that okay everything is possible so please stay motivated please stay calm please stay positive you know positive and please invest your time in your studies because this is the high time that you can do something and you can uh, you know make your future good thank you so much guys and if you uh, really like this video please follow this video thank you so much and i wish you best of luck for your neat exam and i pray that you all will be able to crack and get a government medical college thank you so much bye bye